Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox. And we are here with our little ecosystem. So far things are looking pretty good and in fact if we actually go over here and take a look at our edibility, it looks like the size has gone up too so that's good. But uh, things are going fairly well here. Now we do have some stuff that we want to remove, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to continue uh, like nitpicking like this because um, for the most part things seem to be going pretty well. So what I kind of want to do is, um, I, how exactly are we getting, if we go here, diversity points. So uh, by having animals, so animals are what earns diversity points. So let's go ahead and actually get started with some animals. I'm going to grab this, we're going to transplant it uh, right up here, and we're going to go ahead and just drop in a sheep. We actually unlocked these guys last time. And I'm gonna put in one sheep, and I'm actually gonna put in another sheep. So they're sleeping here. It looks like we have a darker colored one and a lighter colored one. <laughs> oh, his name is Captain. Captain and Salty. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. And their diets are mixed, it looks like, and they're earning a 16 DP per minute. So that's pretty good. Um, and it looks like, oh, it actually goes up with time, I guess, as they get older. So if we fast forward here, you can see that they're starting to grow up and they're earning more uh, diversity points per minute. Look at them bouncing around. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna close that. And they're eating this nice grass. Oh man, we might actually need to put more grass in. So the other thing that I do wanna try and do is I'll probably pick one of the farther away ones. Um, so let's see, what are you at? Uh, 109, that's fine. So if we go selective breeding and we try to increase this, we don't even have enough to increase it by 1%, darn it. Okay, so we'll leave that alone then. <laughs> but uh, we'll try and experiment with that a little bit as the, uh, the sheep continue to grow here because uh, they should keep earning us diversity points. And I think what we're gonna do is we will actually um, try and speed up some time here so that things move a little more quickly. Oop, there we go. Click the wrong button. So it looks like they're growing up. Um, is one of them quite a bit bigger than the other? Am I seeing this properly? Salty is, uh, we can't do that yet. Salty is, <laughs> power bounce 20 boings. Okay, no, they're both at size one. They're just, I don't know. I don't know what's up with Salty there. Uh, it says that they're both the same size. Maybe it's just how quickly they're actually growing. Oh, maybe that's it. So, uh, health is a little bit less. Um, hunger is full. Growth 40%. Growth 92, that's what's going on. Okay, so can we pick you up? If we go here, oh, we can actually take control. <gasps> Look at that, we can hop around. That's so cool. Oh, we're actually controlling Captain currently. And I don't know, can we go eat or... I don't know if we can eat or not. I don't think we can, so we, we can't, uh, can't do that for long. But that's so cool. So we can actually uh, control the animals that uh, we're introducing into the world. So hopefully Captain will grow up soon. I'm a little worried that this grass isn't gonna grow fast enough. But I think they should be all right. They don't seem too hungry, and it does seem like the grass is growing fairly quickly. Now, what I am worried is that they're going to take down the edibility, so that's why I want to continue earning more DP here. Oh, and I think, has, uh, has Captain grown up? Captain is growing up much more quickly now. I think it was because the grass wasn't too great at the time. There wasn't a lot of it. But uh, with that in mind, there we go. We can collect the sheepish tasks. So we have... We don't have, oh, we do have three sheep. They had a baby, oh my goodness. Look at that little baby, baby Belle, her name is. Oh, oh my goodness, that's awesome. Okay, so we will collect this, we'll claim this reward. We've now unlocked the birch tree and we've unlocked new tasks. So we haven't completed all, we, we should start getting wheat. I think wheat would be good, I wanna do that. And uh, I want to, we should, we should modify, so light blue daisies. Right now we have normal daisies, and I think what we have to do is actually go with color here. So if we go selective breeding, we can modify this. Uh, we should be able to, nope, natural color, light blue. All right, do we have, I, I wanna look, I'm gonna look at the edibility. I'm gonna take this off selective breed. Let's find one of our best edibility um, ones. So here's a 104. 
100, 104. I'm going to do, oh, here's a 105. Okay, we'll, we'll selectively breed this one. I'm go Oh, we got a mutation. Okay, I don't know what that is. So we'll go check on that in a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and buy that. Where is the mutation? Is it going to show us? Um, hmm. We've unlocked the birch tree. So I don't know. I don't see it. Is there... How do we view that? I guess we could have probably clicked on that thing. Um, ooh, is it the color? No, the color is normal with all of them. And if we look at edibility, I don't think it's anything to do with the edibility. Is there... Oh, no, right up... Nope, that's the selective breeding. Okay. I don't actually know what that was. Maybe we'll see it later on. But I guess we mutated something. So this one should start to produce light blue daisies. So if we watch this... Selective breed is on. This should start to produce light blue daisies. So if we look at our tasks, we haven't gotten any yet, but there's a chance of that happening. So, oh, do we just get one? We did just get one. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have a light blue daisy. We actually have a few. They just haven't grown up yet. So we should get that task unlocked pretty soon here. Now we're also, there we go. Uh, we got the uh, light blue daisies there. Now, what we also want to do is get some wheat. So I'm going to try and take one of the farther ones with good edibility. Uh, we'll take this 112. Oops, it's actually not too healthy. What about this 113? That one's pretty healthy. Let's go ahead and see. If we go here, we can actually unlock wheat. So, oh, we need more stones. Okay, oh. So maybe that's something. So wild mint... We, I don't know. Maybe we maybe something like that happens. So we gotta add uh, stones in. I'm still kind of remembering how to do this. So let's add some of this in. And we should see some wheat start to grow, possibly. So nearby species, stone times three. Um, we could transplant it. Has it figured out that yet? We did put three down. We don't have that, I guess. So if we go over here... We can put them here, so it is it is considered non-living, so we put quite a lot. Let's just put a lot closer. Uh, now we can get wheat. There we go. So start breeding. It's actually going to finish that up pretty soon. Oh no, its health might go down too much. Darn it! Oh, I don't think it. I don't think it did it. I don't think it did it. <laughs> I think I think it's gonna die before it completes. Darn it. Oh, man. Okay, so we gotta find one that's a little healthier. We took too long in getting it. This one's pretty healthy. Let's actually... So we can't... Okay, we can We can continue that. There we go. Oh, we, it, did, it does register them now. Okay. So we'll start with this one, and it does save our progress, so that's good. We've got several sheep over here. Man, they're really eating quite a lot, so I think we need to get that wheat completed. Uh, but once we have the wheat, I'm actually going to boost the edibility on that, I think, because I have a feeling that'll be more edible for animals like the sheep and whatnot. So, here we go. We should have it soon. Can we do it here? There we go. We bred a wheat. Okay, where did it go? So if we click on this, there it is. Okay, let's, let's put this over here. Um, I'm going to, or we'll put it, let's put it, if we put it up here... Is it going to lose health? Oh, it is going to lose health. Okay. Oh, it's going up. Okay, it's it's in good shape. Oh, maybe. Is it going to? Oh, we might need to put some of these rocks here. Let's, um, let's quickly put down some more rocks. We'll see if we can put those there. Uh, hopefully that'll help its uh, health go back up. It's not very good right now. Oh, please breed something in. Oh, it's starting to show up. Oh, it died, though. No! <laughs> Do we have a task for that? Can we see? Oh, wait, there is more. Okay, three wheat in the world. So, where else is the wheat? If we go... How do we view? There's got to be, like, a viewer. There's music. Checklist. Uh, I guess maybe if we go here, we can see. So there's rocks. If we look at wheat... Wait, if I bet if I go here, does it show it? No, it's not going to show it. Okay. That might be what it mutated in, actually. Um, that's grass. All of this is grass. I'm still getting used to the interface. Um, hmm. We're getting quite a lot of DP per minute, though, so that's good. 
I guess maybe, no, I think the wheat probably did just disappear, so we'll plant another one in, uh, because I bet we had two total, but they've now disappeared. Uh, let's plant this up here, and we'll keep an eye on it. Is it going to be less finicky than the other one? Hopefully, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. Why is its health starting out so low? No, I don't think we're going to do it. Oh, I don't think we're going to do it. I don't know why its health is so low. Am I messing something up? Um, let's see. So it needs grassland. Okay. Oh, and it just died again. So it definitely needs grassland. If we look here, we can see I'm definitely doing something wrong. It needs stones. Oh, it likes to be below 20 meters. So maybe I'm putting it in the wrong spot. Um, if we go down here, sorry, why, do, why is my voice dying? I don't know what's going on with this. Um, hmm. So, I don't want to put it right by the sheep, but we could put it right over here, maybe. Is it going to have more health now? Is its health going to go up? It's doing a lot better. It likes to be near stones, though. Yeah, I bet it's dying because there's no stones. So we gotta put some stones in. I'm getting more used to it. Oh, what did we do? Let's... Let's turn this on and we'll uh, put it on edibility so we can see if there's any other wheat in the world. Uh, that'll be easier to do. But, oh, oh, its health went back up because it didn't have, oh, that's why it was dying so quickly because it didn't have, um, oh, is that more wheat? No, that's a daisy. It didn't have any of the, um, it didn't have any uh, stones nearby. So if we do this, we can actually get it up to here. I'm going to increase by 5%. And that should start to get um, better wheat in the world. That'll give us kind of a boost. We can now collect the wheat breeder task. Let's do that. We also unlocked the chicken. We unlocked seaweed. And three new tasks. So what does this do? It grows in the water. Um, it likes the uh, it likes the, the riverbed. So I don't I don't know how to figure out what the uh, what the biome is, but I bet it, it likes it down there in the water. And if we go here, how is this going to do? Is it going to be happy? I think it's going to be happy. Right? Yeah, it's happy. Okay, we'll start to start to populate there then. Alright, so we've got wheat. We've got quite a bit of edibility uh, showing up here. we got a 108 up here. Okay, I'm going to remove the 97. Uh, we'll remove that one. But I do want to see... So I'm actually going to grab this, I think... Or maybe I'm not, because <laughs> we don't have the DP for where we don't... We have enough, but we barely have enough. So we've got a 108. It's also... F oh, and it died. Okay. So it really needs that grass. We've got to we gotta get more grass in, I guess. So hopefully... Okay. Oh, what it needs is more stones, too. So do the sheep have any problems? Oh, hello, Darcy. Um, do they have... There's not anything that uh, it really has a problem with. Oh man, these guys are going to eat us out of house and home. Alright, we can now collect the under the sea task. Yay, we have ten. Wow. Okay, we're unlocking stuff really fast at the moment. Uh, I'm kind of struggling to keep up with it. We'll add more animals soon here. But what I'm going to do is add some stones in this area. And we'll start, um, we'll start adding some wheat here. What I'm going to do is I don't necessarily want to take our best one, or maybe I do. This one is probably going to have a hard time of things. So let's transplant this and hopefully it does grow. But if we put it over here, hopefully hopefully they don't eat it. Will its health go back up? Yes, its health went back up. Okay, so we should be able to have this start to grow over here. And, oh, it, it reproduced. All right, I'm gonna remove this one so that we continue to have better plants show up. Hopefully, the sheep will not um, will not eat all. <laughs> uh, let's remove that. We do have quite a few sheep though, so that should be good. Oh, we have a 104. That's excellent. A 105. Okay. Oh, don't eat the 106, please. Um, I'm gonna remove this 102. I'm gonna remove the other 102. Remove all the 102s because we want to keep. We want to keep the population, or we want to keep the edibility going up because that'll improve the food, uh, the food value for it. And I think they'll have to eat less in order to uh, be able to gain the nutrition they need from it. So let's remove the 103s. Um, I'm going to keep the 105s and the 106s. So let's see here, and we'll or we'll keep the 104. 
Let's speed it up a little bit more. We have another 106, 106, 107. Uh, we'll remove this 104 then. I'm trying to, uh, as we see it improving, oh, let's get rid of the 103. We'll try and make sure we keep it improving because I have a feeling that that's going to work wonders for these sheep. And hopefully they'll start eating the wheat instead of consuming all the grass. Because there's too many sheep. Now the problem we're running into here is that we don't actually have any predators. I think, oh, we lost a tree. How are they doing size-wise? Um, that one's a little small. That one's a little small. They're all a little small. Oh, no. Okay, that's the normal one. I'm going to do something a little bit interesting and remove all the trees. So, but I think we also need to get another animal in here. So what does the trout eat? It, uh, it gives, it likes water plants. What does it eat? I don't know that it does eat. All right, let's put it, let's put some trout in the water and just see what happens. Uh, see how it does. Is it happy? Its age is not great. Its population density is low. Okay. It's... Okay. It seems okay. Alright, it's growing. And it's fairly healthy. I think it's actually doing alright. So, oh, it's getting a little bit... Uh, oh! It keeps gaining... Okay, a strange sheep has been born with an unusual mutation. Finnegan! What did you get? Did you get a different color? Disease resistance! Okay. Oh, we probably want to be careful with that, actually. We want to make sure that goes up. Um, there's so many variables that you can get into. It's kind of like niche, where it can be hard to keep track of everything. Oh, we've got some good wheat over here. Um, how is the wheat's edibility on this side of things? We've got quite a lot. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm going to keep... I'm going to try and breed some super grass, I think. So, let's take a look here. That one's going to die. Let's take a look at the edibility, and uh, we'll see. I want to breed some super grass. So we'll grab this one. How is it looking? Oh, it's actually dying, so we don't want that. We don't want this one. Um, there's got to be some really good grass around here, right? Right? There should be, right? We've had some. I think we're actually losing some of it because... Uh, we haven't been selectively breeding it. It kind of is declining because we haven't been uh, actively working on it. That one's not terrible. I want something that's fairly good and fairly new. Oh, that one just died. Darn it, I was saying there's a 110. What about this one? That one's not great. This one's, this one's really good. Okay, what we're gonna do here is, actually we might not have enough for this yet. I want to uh, try and select a breed. How much DP is this gonna cost us? We can do 2%, and uh, hopefully that will help. It might be worth waiting more until we have enough DP to really selectively breed this. So that should boost us up to 112, right? I would think so. Oh, we have a 113. That's excellent. Okay. So it's probably worth waiting more. Oh my goodness, so many sheep. Um, oh yeah, we have a blue sheep. That's what's going on with Finnegan. Okay, can we? We can't transplant. If we, but if we take control, we can kind of bounce this way and we can kind of move him around and uh, move him to a new area here. So we can't actually transplant him, but if we, uh, if we take a little time here, we can actually move him to a new spot and we'll start like a blue sheep colony, I think. Uh, so that probably was what we got with the other one. We probably got a color mutation or something like that. So I think you don't necessarily need two sheep to reproduce in this. I, I don't know if it, if it requires that, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see if, if he does anything by himself. I don't think the game requires there to be two individuals to reproduce. Okay, um, so we can... Oh, we can sprint. Okay, so we will cancel out of the control. Is he going back to his herd? I think he's going back to his herd. Oh man, so we can't just do that then. Uh, we'd have to actually plant some in there. Yep, he's going back for sure. Oh, the fish have reproduced though, and uh, they're doing pretty well. So what other animals do we have? We have chickens, so what do they eat? They eat wheat and barley, okay. So if we put some chickens out here, we can put a chicken right here. We do have some wheat. And uh, we should be doing pretty well with that, I think. 
Uh, we're starting to get this ecosystem uh, doing well, I think, here. It, it's, it's shaping up. I'm going to snag one of the higher... Oh, not that one, though, because that's dying. This one's good. We'll transplant this. I'm going to put it down here. I'm just going to start moving some of the better grass and things. How is this one? That one's still very good. And we'll just start kind of filling out this area. So that should be good. Hopefully that'll start to kind of spread the grass around. And next time, what, what are our tasks currently? So we need to earn over 500 DP per minute. We need to complete... Okay, we can't do that. So we need more chickens. We want more trout and we want redfish and kelp and water lily. Uh, evolve the buttercup. Okay, so we need to start evolving plants. And, uh, oh, take control of a sheep and ba. We can do that easily. Oop, you're about to die. All right, Edsel, we are going to, if I can over, where is it? Take control. And uh, what are the controls here? We can ba. There we go. That was easy enough to do. I'm going to cancel out of the control. And we'll go ahead and claim for that. Uh, it unlocks mushrooms, so that's good. But uh, I think we're actually going to go ahead and wrap up here for today because it is about that time again. Uh, so our ecosystem is growing slowly. We've actually got uh, a lot of a lot of interesting things shaping up here. We got uh, the button mushroom, which is cool. And uh, so yeah, things are looking pretty good. We've got our first population of sheep. We've got some fish. We've, we've got things looking pretty good. Now, it's still a very barren world. There's not a lot going on here, but that will change with time. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.